we do not accept to fall under the spell and the plot and the plan of Iblis. We are not intending for one moment to, 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 to concur in submissiveness to any other than Allah Jalla Jalaluhu. Because that's what the Fatiha says. That's what the entire Quran says. We're sub to, to submit to Allah and Allah alone and we're to, sub to, to, to seek in his protection, in his protection alone. That is very clear. Every Muslim, every, every, every citizen of the Republic of the Shahada know that it is Every citizen knows and it does not matter what the circumstances are, what type of weaponry are involved, the intellect, this is the mystical spiritual aspect. We have to go into the origination of all of this nonsense. You want something that you are not entitled to. Now the truth is coming out because the prisoner exchange is becoming too clear. More information is coming out, although you were already, the information war was against IDF. When was it against IDF? The information war was against IDF because IDF failed on October the 7th. Information could not have been successful if you were breached with intelligence. You were breached in security. You were breached militarily. Safety was also long gone. So you were breached in all those ways, but you actually have great information. Now you have to perform how great of information you have. And obviously, you have a 45-minute video which shows slaughtering of babies and uh, uh, the other one, uh, Holocaust survivors. You say you have that, but only certain people are able to see it, like Elon. They got to show it so they can win over more and more resources. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is suffice. We told, we claim, we said, and Allah justified, substantiated. This was his means, not, not mine. I just want everybody to understand this was not done by other than Jalla Jalaluhu. We have our Quran. We will absolutely to the, and it's our command. It is the command from Jalla Jalalu. We will use it all the way. Right here from the capital of the, of, of what used to be the, the Confederacy, where slavery began in America, right here on our shores. This is where the Quranic revolution took off on 2021 and declared forever 2023. The fact remains that oppression, injustice, unfairness, it must, it, it must vanish from the earth. There is n absolutely no way that the creator of all of us created this world and everything that is in it so that it can be unjust. <laughs> who do we think he is? We think he is one who cares about how many of us have what we have of this world to make decision? To send the the the, the Jibrili, the Mikaili, the Israfili, the Azraeli brigades, the Suleimani brigade, the Badrin brigade. Do we not know the the Badrin brigade? They were at Badr in Uhud. We do not know that. Someone said, "I I just came back from Amra and we saw Badrin." Okay, do you know what Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did at that exact place? Besides the fact that this was a battle that he that he was uh, commanding. Besides that, what else happened here? And you've been there how many times, by the way? It does not make any sense not knowing and being okay with not knowing. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, بَعْدَ أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ اِقْرَأْ بِسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقْ It's very important. 
Then, another problem with your narrative. Today, as hostages are being released and you have this pause, two things really are shocking. As brutal as you depicted Hamas, the resistance, uh, you know, your hostages, or these, these so-called hostages, I mean, they, they really look, they look kind of bright and happy. And, and, and the thumbs up and the bye-byes. I mean, I saw the reporters who were really, you know, vouching for IDF, which we really need to get to. Like, you know, what's going on with IDF right now? But as far as the faces on those children, the, the, the civilians that have been released back into, you know, the, 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 the IDF, I mean, happy. Last words. And actually, one of them wrote, uh, a very beautiful letter about the humanity. So I wonder what's going on there. We cannot say specifically, you know, what is going, we're not to say. We just have to make that very, it's not that we cannot say, we're not to say. There's a big difference too. Actually, better yet, we don't want to say. Now, very important point is that is contradicting your narrative of barbarism. Actually, the scenes that we see in Gaza, that's more of a depiction of, of anything that has already been said. So, you know, people around the world realize what you are seeing in Gaza, that condition there, Right here in the United States, the injustices that are being placed on the destitute in America right here from all forms, the the, the corruption that is going on right here, right in front of our own eyes, it has to be squared away. It must be squared away for these type of of nationalistic ideas to ever cease. These are Iblisi Shaitani. And by the way, it goes from this, 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 this magnitude where it is a smoke flog in war flog, flog, you know, uh, where it can be seen to that in which is behind closed doors, which cannot be seen by just anybody, you know, who is uh, following the uh, otherwise. It's just not, it's, it's just not the case. So you have a problem because you claimed that they, meaning in this one group, this one resistant group, Hamas. But now it is clear that there were several other fractions. There are several other fractions besides them who were involved in October 7th. So why did you do all of this for just this one group? So do you do, so one, you're going to outroot Hamas, which is the resistance. Now, obviously, you know, they showed how organized they are and they, they've managed to recruit last couple of days. Never mind, they, they were so busy, they, they didn't even have to recruit. But on top of that, I mean, it's already mentioned on your media outlet that you actually convinced a whole lot more people who did not even know who, who this organization was to actually join them. And on top of that, world opinion for your state has actually begun to crumble. It's nationalism. We declared the, the operation Stop Lying. This was back in the 20, uh, 2021 declaration shortly after. However, Jalla Jalal, who took care of it, this lie, you know, which has begun with Iblis, the originator, and he has a progeny way more than the human being, progeny. And he vowed that he will take as many of the progeny of, of Adam, our great ancestor, to the hellfire. And he's managed to make people think that he does not exist. And he's managed to make people think that Allah does not exist. People do not remember to be fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be hopeful at the same time. So they don't understand to abide by what he revealed is the only, 
you know, is the only is is the only way of Al Islam to of the peace, the everlasting peace. So now it appears that in this informational warfare situation, majority of the world are with the resistance. And this resistance is against imperialism. It is against the resistance itself. Is against bullying. The bullying, I have more power than you. I'm going to take your lunch. I'm going to take your, your intended wife, because that's what I had in mind. And I'm going to take your resources. I'm going to take your land. And then on the lower scale of it, in these centers, these, these, I don't even know what to call them. You know, these community parks or recreational places or clubs. They call them, they got a little prayer area in there and then they call it Islam. But they're actually misguiding people because they're following the setup of the, of, of those who did not, who did not follow the setup of the Quran. You know, I, I happen to talk to someone who is very knowledgeable in, in the administrative community body members. You know, they think just like these politicians. I mean, this is a big thing, you know, become politically strong so you can write laws and bylaws. So you can call for certain state uh, regulations. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has all of that. He gave to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, imagine. Why should we leave that for what we see what they're doing at the top? They're starting wars involved, violence, genocide. Astaghfirullah. You know, the innocent. For what? For more money, more... I don't even know. Can anybody say exactly what is the interest of our nation, United States, in United Snakes? What exactly is our interest in the Middle East? Why do we have to have bases to imply force? Why is it that Israel could not, you know, use its better diplomacy? You have all these fractions in there, not just Hamas. You have Hamas, Islamic Jihad, and you said yourself. So today you do all of this for this one uh, resistance force, and then tomorrow you do another, and then so that is what you said earlier. You're going to level everything out. And then you're bombing out of all places, hospitals. Any of us could go to a hospital, yourself included. But why would you bomb a place where babies are? How many babies, you know, that that's the scenes that people are getting. Yes, and, you know, your troops are not seasoned to, 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 to face the, 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 the warrior. They're not because these warriors have been living under those conditions since they were five years old, they've been getting bombed for 75 years. Your folks are re reservists who came in, they, they have the better ground and they know the better ground. Now they're actually turning out to be better humanitarians than you because since it's not all them, it's not all Hamas, it's not all that one organization and they actually have to coordinate with other fractions on your behalf. And you're mean to, t to, ex to say, Although this is happening, when this is over, when they fin then we're going to uproot them. That makes no sense. Absolutely none whatsoever. And if you want to learn from the, the mistakes of United Snakes, excuse me, I have to say that because we're not unified. All these different laws in these different states is, is absolutely incorrect. Nobody knows about the Constitution, and that's another big issue, a huge issue. The same exact thing they're doing behind closed doors. And there's only one way. There's so much more to say. It is by the Shahada to Allah, Ilaha illallah. There's only one worthy of worship, He alone. And by the example that He gave to the finally selected one, Muhammad Rasulullah, my sibling, our siblings, those who believe and stand firm and remain as representative successors of Adam alayhi salatu wassalam. We bear patience because indeed mankind is, is completely lost. Mankind is totally 
misguided. Except those who believe, and there is no belief without patience. After patience, besides patience, we must long for paradise. We must be fearful of the hereafter. We must be ascetic. We must have must have less interest in extravagance of this world because the more of it we have, the less of the hereafter we're going to remember. And remember on a regular basis, just as in the Fatiha, Yawm al-Din, remember that day is promised to us. As long as that is the case, we will prepare for it and we will rush to do righteous deeds. We have to be certain in our Creator, rely on Him in Him alone. We have to be just in our decision making. And when it comes time to take sides, be sincere under all circumstances. And we have to be adamant, persistent in striving in the path of Allah. If we're not striving in the path of Allah, there is no Iman, there is no belief without striving in the path of Allah. We must enjoin what is good and forbid what is evil and resent, be resentful of evil doing in, 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 in the, the traps of the Iblis. Very important. We have to. And Look at the day when we wake up in the abad which we will be alone in. We remember that day because that day is near. And if there's anyone who ever witnesses my day and what it is that is clear is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah of Women. In the second page, that's exactly how my afterlife has been decreed by Jalla Jalaluhu for as I am saying it today. We pray for all of those who are seeking the entire truth, nothing save the truth and are able to put their biases aside. And remember the originator is the sustainer. He is one, he is going to give us our death and our life again. Recall that the day is going to come when it will be as if he alone, or she alone, I alone, um, the only one created, answering to why did you choose this over this? We are not going to be able to say we're busy, we have to go. We're not going to be able to say we don't like this conversation. We cannot say we're not comfortable talking about it. It's going to be over. Let us rush to do the righteous deeds. Seriously. You know, peace is better, Israel. I'm Israel. Peace is better. We're letting you know the mystical spiritual coalition forces are in complete readiness and preparedness if you attack a second time. Keep the ceasefire. You know, negotiate your hostages, as we said before. You know, retain the peace and follow up on Bibi Netanyahu. That man, he's trying to pull a, a, a smoke screen over the people. And if you all think that he, he, is, he is not guilty, then just ask your courts what he's been processed for. It's just a deja vu. This is all that we have to say uh, from the angle of the Boise uh, alone and uh, the, uh, the headquarters in terms of uh, the, the statement that is the formal from the, 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 the co allied coalition forces will be coming out. But this is exactly the statement that uh, the, 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 the Boise had uh, prepared 
and wanted that to be out as soon as possible uh, to to maintain a cessation of, of firing um, and uh, particularly for Israel also. You're just not just going to release prisoners and then not allow them to celebrate or you're not just going to release some and then kill more on the side at the same time. You have to stop. Apartheid, you know, it did not last in, in South Africa, although United States was, was backing, you know, South Africa. We remember that, okay? So you just have to back off now. There are too many. They're calling. Uh, is for not just, you know, Arabs like it was before. That's what you had back in 48 or whatever. This is a new day. They know better. They're not just calling for Arabs. They're calling for Muslimin, okay? So there's a big difference. And the fact that they're calling for Arabs also, how dare you to, you know, uh, put these, uh, these, these Jewish Arabs under the same scrutinies all throughout. You're doing the same thing. The nationalist government is just tearing up whoever is not for the Zionism, whether they're Jewish, Christian, or even Muslim, it does not matter. And, you know, this is not going to, to bring... Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of those who participating. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.